Meet Jack McAfee. Jack has Asperger syndrome. He's done fairly well in school to date and wants to go to college. His parents and school have been very supportive and through the years he's taken advantage of some specialized resources available to students with Asperger syndrome. Now Jack's in the second semester of his junior year in high school and is starting to look at colleges. He's been interested in horticulture from the age of eight and has learned a lot about it over time. He thinks he'd like to major in it. Today, Jack and his mother are at Williston College, the first of five colleges where Jack may apply. They've reviewed Williston's website and the literature they received in the mail, and it appears the school has much to offer. Plus, Jack's high school guidance counselor thinks Williston would be a good match. This on-site visit now should really help them get a true feel for the place, and Jack will be assessing if he feels comfortable in this environment. You got everything, Jack? Notebook, camera, list of questions? Yeah, got it all. Good, you can never be too prepared. A student guide is assigned to show the McAfee's around the campus and answer any questions they may have. Have a seat. Why don't you tell me what you're interested in seeing? Do you have any particular major in mind? Yeah, horticulture. I've been collecting and propagating plants since I was eight years old, and, well, I can really envision myself going into the field. I think there's a real future there. Williston Horticulture Department has a great reputation. I can show you a freshman biology course, I'm not sure if there's a lab going on, but I can still show you some of the facilities. We can also take a look at the housing. As a freshman, you're probably going to have to live in a dorm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sure, I'd like to see some of the housing. Do you mind if I take some pictures of the stuff we see today? It'll help me keep track. Sure, no problem. Do you have any special interests or sports that you like? Well, I like to swim, but not on a team. I just like to swim for exercise. So if there's a pool I can use several times a week, I'd like to see that. Okay. I can also try to arrange for you to meet briefly with Dr. Mason, if he's available. He's head of the horticulture department here. Would you like to meet with him? Sure, if it's no problem. I'd like to ask him about what special opportunities might be available. I especially like hands-on stuff. Gail, our only concern is that we have an appointment with the Disability Support Services Office at 2. We can have lunch before or after that. No problem. And as far as lunch is concerned, I'm hoping you have lunch in our student union cafeteria. That's an important part of our tour. That sounds fine. What I'd like to do now is have you watch our new overview orientation video. And this will take about 10 minutes. And during that time, I'll see if Dr. Mason can meet with us later. Did you like that video? Yes. As a matter of fact, could we get a copy of it? Sure. Well, actually, our new overview video is going to be on our website next week. Good. I'll check it out there. Okay. Well, let's get started. Let's head over to Craig Hall and take a look at some classrooms. Jack was able to observe several of the classrooms. He made notes on the number of students in the class and the type of class, lecture, seminar, lab. After looking at several classrooms, the library and the swimming pool, 
the group set out to inspect a freshman dormitory. Can you wait a minute while I take a picture? Okay. Listen, it's 11 o'clock and that's when Dr. Mason agreed to meet and see us. So let's go in and I'll introduce you. Jack, you might want to refer to the list of questions we discussed about the types of classes you wanted and the teaching style. Yeah, I have those right here under classroom needs. Okay. I'm just going to sit over here and wait. You go on in. Dr. Mason, do you offer any courses early on that would give me some practical experience in the field of horticulture? I especially like hands-on stuff. We certainly do, Jack. As a matter of fact, in your freshman year, we have uh, several courses where you'll have an opportunity to work with local growers and also uh, landscape designers. So uh, I assure you, you'll have plenty of opportunity to get your hands in the dirt. Getting an opportunity to meet with one of the professors was something that Jack had not anticipated. His mother reminded him of the notes he took during a discussion at home, so he'd be able to ask some pertinent questions and provide some good answers to any questions the professor had. As Jack and the professor continue their conversation, Jack listens carefully and takes notes. Following the meeting with the professor, the group heads off to the cafeteria and they enjoy sampling the food. Later, Jack and his mother will visit the nearby town to get a sense of the larger community. And upon their return home, Jack will enter the information he learns from the campus tour into his college comparison spreadsheet. Following the campus tour at Williston College, Jack meets with the college's Disabilities Support Services representative. Remember, when we scheduled the appointment with the DSS representative, they requested to meet one-on-one -on -one with you. Do you have your list of questions? Right here. Great. I'll be waiting outside here for you. Good luck. Now you'll do well. Jack's mother had phoned ahead of time to make an appointment, and Jack and his parents had made a list of specific questions to ask. Come in. Jack. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Have a seat. Thank you. So, have you had a chance to tour the campus? Yes. Uh, my mother and I saw everything we'd planned to. I really like Williston. Good. So what can I do for you today? Well, I was interested in learning more about the types of services that you offer the students here. I believe my mother told you when she made the appointment that I have Asperger's Syndrome? Yes, she did. Well, I have a few questions to ask you if you don't mind. Not at all. Feel free to ask. That's why we're here. Uh, do you work with many students who have Asperger's? Yes, a number. Currently we have four students with Asperger's Syndrome enrolled here at Williston. Our office has assisted them with a variety of things. Over the years, I think that we have worked with 10 or 12 other students. What kind of services do you provide? 
Well, of course, we have a complete line of services available for people with disabilities in general. Ask for services for you. We have a resource center with video and audio tape lectures. We also have audio tape recorders for you to tape lectures yourself. We also provide career counseling services. Do you have a brochure that explains these types of services? Yes, we certainly do. I'll make sure you get a copy before you leave today. We also have an electronic version which we're preparing to put on our website. Just type in Disability Support Services on the school site search engine and you'll see it. Okay, thanks. We also offer one-on-one -on -one counseling to students who need help. What kind of help? Well, for instance, one of the students with Asperger's Syndrome was having real problems with taking exams because he needed more time. So, I made arrangements with the professor to give him extra time to complete the exams. Another instance was a student that had a difficult time with oral exams and oral presentations in general. So, I made arrangements with the professor for the student to do a project and to hand in a written report on the topics covered in the oral exam. What is the best way for me to work with you to receive help? You can call me any time to set up an appointment and to go over any problems you may be having, academic or social problems, whatever's on your mind. You need to call me at least a day in advance, or you can email me, and I can respond by email or by phone. I check my voicemail and email pretty regularly, and I try to get back to you promptly. Jack and the DSS representative continue their conversation as Jack asks several other questions, being sure to make note of the DSS representative's answers. Jack also asks for clarification on answers that aren't clear. Just to make sure I have everything, um, I can review all of your services online. You do offer audio tape recorders. And you'll communicate At the conclusion the of their conversation, Jack summarizes their talk to make sure he's gotten everything right. He thanks the DSS for his time. How'd it go? I think it went fine. I remembered to ask everything and took some notes. And at the end, I summarized his answers. Oh, that's great. You felt good about it? Yeah, you ready to go? Excellent. The one-on-one -on -one meeting with the DSS representative put Jack in a self-advocacy role that's increasingly important to him now that he's entering college. And the meeting was a success because it yielded the information Jack sought. Back home, Jack will get his college comparison spreadsheet and enter the information that the Disability Support Services representative provided. He'll also enter other information that he and his mother learned during their visit to Williston College. In preparing to select a college or university to attend, Jack first creates an interest inventory consisting of pictures and statements that reflect his interests. He posts these on his bedroom wall and uses them as visual aids to help him maintain focus. 
He creates a mission statement that expresses what his interests are, what he's good at, what he finds challenging, and so forth. Jack and his father then begin searching the web looking for schools that appear to be a good match with Jack's mission statement. Jack sends out requests for information to the colleges he might be interested in attending. He also gathers information from their websites. Once the information is in hand, Jack creates a college comparison spreadsheet that provides an easy way to compare the various colleges he thinks may interest him. Using the spreadsheet, along with the material that's been gathered, Jack and his parents narrow the field to the top five colleges using a ranking pyramid to aid in the selections. Once the selections are made, Jack contacts the schools to arrange an on-site tour. Prior to the campus visit, Jack and his parents spend time going over questions to ask during the tour. They also make a list of things that Jack wants to see, such as a classroom and a dormitory room. Jack takes notes and photographs during the tour so he and his parents can remember certain features. Following his tour, Jack updates his college spreadsheet and loads his photographs into his computer. He and his family then review his notes, spreadsheet, and photographs. The dorm rooms at Williston College were very nice. Jack really liked them. Yeah, I'd have a roommate, but the rooms are pretty big, and there's plenty of storage space and partitioned off study areas, so you have some privacy. Well, I understand that you had a chance to meet with one of the professors at Wilts. How'd that go? Great. You know, one of the things I was wondering was whether I'd be able to get any good practical experience. And Dr. Mason mentioned there's a number of community-related projects that would let me work with local growers and landscape designers. I forgot to find out if I could get credit for the advanced placement classes I've taken in high school. Maybe they could count towards some of those standard freshman classes. That's something that you might want to make a note about and ask the admissions counselor. I'll do that. Jack then creates a visual map for each of the colleges that outlines in detail his likes and dislikes. He then requests and submits admissions applications to his top choices. Several weeks later, Jack receives responses from a number of the colleges, asking him to make an appointment for an interview. To prepare for the interview, Jack reviews his notes and makes a list of questions to ask the admissions counselor. He also has his parents help him with role playing, his mother playing the admissions counselor while his father looks on and critiques his performance. Jack, that was great. You sat up straight, you kept good eye contact, you thought about each question before you answered it, and your answers were to the point. You know, I think you're ready. This kind of preparation helps keep Jack focused on his objective of getting into college. It helps assure that he puts his best foot forward as he pursues getting into a college that's a good match for him.
Jack, to prepare for his college admissions interview, first reviews the background information on the college. He then goes over his notes and the photos he took during his visit to the college. He also reviews his mission statement. Next, Jack and his parents do some role-playing to simulate the interview situation. Jack, why did you want to attend this college? Well, my goal is to be a horticulturalist, and your college has one of the best programs in the country. Following the role-playing, the three of them critique the performance, paying special attention to things like facial expressions, body posture, and the verbal information that Jack delivered. By the time the interview day arrives, Jack feels well rehearsed and comfortable about delivering the information he'll probably be asked. Come in. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Ms. Santos. Please come in and have a seat. Thank you. Well, Jack, I see here you are in your senior year at Stonington High. Can you tell me a little about your years there? Certainly. Uh, throughout high school, I've been a strong student. I've maintained a 3.5 GPA and have been on the honor roll the past two years. Jack's answers are to the point, and he makes sure he stays on the point and doesn't digress. He maintains good posture, making sure to sit straight in the chair while appearing comfortable. He keeps a pleasant look on his face and maintains good eye contact without staring too much. Jack, what would you say thus far has been your best experience in high school? The best experience uh, is the opportunity to work part-time through the Allen Arboretum. Uh, at our school, we have a partnership with them that lets students work in the community. I was able to help on a number of projects, one of my favorites being the identification and tagging of large trees and public grounds in a two-county area. It gave me the opportunity to develop friendships, learn more about trees, and work with professionals in the horticulture field. My group also set up a farmer's market that meets at the Arboretum every other Sunday. Sounds interesting. When answering a question, Jack first takes a few seconds to collect his thoughts. Then he provides an answer that is concise and truthful, remembering not to ramble. Jack continues to respond to the admissions counselor's questions, listening carefully to the question, then collecting his thoughts before answering. Now, Jack, do you have any questions of me? Yes, I do. Um, I was here for my first visit two months ago, and I was able to meet with Dr. Mason, the head of your horticulture department, um, and he gave me a lot of good information concerning the program here. But now I was wondering if the two advanced placement courses I've taken in high school could count towards some of the classes I would need in my freshman year. Let's review here what you need the first year. What were your AP classes? I took AP. Asking a good question that was not outlined in the literature you received will indicate real interest in the college. Jack listens carefully and takes notes, being sure to ask for clarification on any information he is given. Well, Jack, it certainly has been a pleasure talking with you today. You should have our responses to your application to attend within a month. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Here, I'm going to give you my business card. Thank you. It's been a pleasure meeting with you also. Thank you so much for meeting with me today. Immediately after returning home, Jack emails the admissions counselor to thank her again for her time. He also prints this thank you letter and puts it in the mail. In both versions of the letter, he re-emphasizes his interest in the college and states that he hopes to soon receive a favorable decision about his admissions application.
Jack, a teen with Asperger syndrome, is now several months into his freshman year at Williston College. He's having some problems and feels he needs some help. Hello. Is this the Disability Support Services office? Yes. I I'd like to make an appointment, please. Prior to his meeting with the Disability Support Services representative, Jack goes over a diary that he's been keeping. The diary outlines the problems he's had. He makes a list of topics to discuss with the DSS rep. Jack, nice to see you. Come on in. Have a seat. Thanks. I, I appreciate you taking the time out to talk with me today, Mr. Dunton. No problem, Jack. How's it going? Uh, good in general. Uh, I do have a few specific problems, though. Well, let's go over them. Uh, well, my English 101 class is pretty big. We meet in Filbert Hall. That is a large class. Yeah, uh, and I really just have a problem sitting in that big group of people, uh, being surrounded by everyone. It really, it really makes me nervous, uh, stresses me out. Have you been getting to class on time? Is it pretty filled by the time you get there? Usually I'm there on time. Sometimes I'm a little late. Hmm. Why don't we try this, Jack? Do you think you can arrive there a little bit early? That way you can get your choice of seat and pick something more comfortable for you, like a seat on the aisle or near a door. Yeah, getting there early. Uh, I don't have a class before that. That might work. Something else you might want to look into is the Library Resource Center. You know, those core freshman classes are so large they started videotaping and audio taping them. You know, the library also has talking books, in case you're interested. Okay, so you're saying that the campus libraries might have lectures on audio or videotape? Okay, I'll look into that. Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, well, I'm having a hard time making friends. My roommate's not around much, and I tried hanging around the student union, but... Have you joined any groups? Groups? I don't know what you mean. I see in your file that you think you might be interested in a horticulture major. There's a horticultural interest group here. I know they've been a good group because they've headed up a number of community gardens these past few years. I think that might be a good way for you to meet people with the same interest as you. Yeah, I'd heard about that group, but I thought I couldn't get in as a freshman. No, you can join. Dr. Jane Williams is the faculty advisor. I can give you her email address and her phone number. Okay, I'll follow up on that. Dr. Jane Williams. Contacting her sounds like a good idea. Jack and the DSS representative continued their conversation as Jack outlined several more of his concerns. Jack listened carefully to the DSS rep, making sure he understood his recommendations and making a note of them. As their meeting started to wrap up, Jack summarized the DSS rep's suggestions back to him and told him what actions he would take to follow up. Before departing, Jack thanked the DSS representative for his time. Thank you so much for meeting with me today, Mr. Dunn. I really appreciate it. Anytime, Jack. Anytime. Thanks.